Hello and welcome to In Our Schools. I'm Katrina Heeman. We're introducing a new segment to In Our Schools where we will look at the curriculum and show you what your child will learn in math from kindergarten through fifth grade. You will notice a definite change in the instruction. Students are more engaged with hands-on learning activities and really enjoy math. These new segments will also help you read the new report cards and see how your child is being assessed on each section. Today we will visit a fifth grade classroom at Irving Elementary to see how students are engaging and developing deep conceptual understandings of math procedures. The students are engaged in activities that follow the recommendations set by Iowa Core Mathematics. The Iowa Core emphasizes teaching for understanding. The Iowa Core standards stress that mathematical understanding and procedural skills are equally important. The Waterloo Math Curriculum is aligned with the Iowa Core and is built around instructional tasks focused on important mathematics that apply to everyday life. Students learn in an environment that stresses making sense of mathematics. They learn math content and develop fluency and skill that is well grounded in meaning. Problem-based instructional tasks are at the heart of teaching for understanding. Today's students are engaged in a problem-based lesson to develop division strategies. In a typical lesson you will see Students are actively involved in all aspects of the lesson. Students use concrete mathematical manipulative objects strategically and models to represent ideas as a natural part of instruction. Students solve problems and work on extended problems as their primary purpose in math. Students record and reflect their thinking in math journals, logs, and recording papers. Students can find more than one way to solve problems and can explain and justify strategies used. Students are assessed with formal and informal assessments. Students demonstrate and explain their thinking and ask questions of their peers and their teacher. Students are expected to develop conceptual understanding of common mathematical processes such as division because they need to know how division works based on place value and properties of addition, subtraction, and multiplication so they can apply what they know to understanding models for decimals, decimal notation, fractions, and other mathematical processes that are related. When students understand mathematics, they are more flexible in their estimation and they can apply that understanding as new mathematical ideas arise. Students will learn these concepts by using models to explore ideas and to explain their thinking. In fifth grade, using arrays to explain multiplication and division gives students a way to describe decimals and fractions. It is very easy for parents to help their child continue learning at home. Play the games with your child. Describe your thinking when you are explaining something. We want students to see that there are many strategies to solve problems. Taking time to explain your process allows students to see another strategy. Ask them to explain their ideas as well. Classroom discussions prepare students to think about how they found solutions to problems and how their strategy compares to someone else's. They will benefit from hearing a parent explain the process they use to find solutions. Students will eventually learn the standard algorithm for multiplication and division, and when they do, they will have a strong understanding of the operation. We know that students need to understand mathematical ideas in different ways. Teachers assess student learning by watching them work and recording what they see students do or how they explain their thinking. Students complete individual written assessments and explain their ideas. Students do not pass a benchmark until they have mastered it. Since all of the concepts are connected, they are revisited throughout the year. Students will be working to master concepts all year if needed. Today was a great example of how fifth grade students are engaged in learning in the classroom and how hands-on activities really benefit the students' learning of math concepts. Please stay tuned or visit our district website for other programs as we continue to demonstrate what you can expect students in kindergarten through fifth grade to learn in math.